Hello my dear students, friends and aspirants who are preparing for various examinations. So today uh, we'll be discussing various uh, strategies to study effectively, to study efficiently so that we can get good marks in the examinations we are appearing or to crack any of the competitive examination for which we are preparing. So all these strategies are equally important. So I would request you not to miss any of them and watch this video till end. Uh, but before that, I would request you uh, to subscribe to our channel uh, so that you, you don't miss out any of these useful videos which are coming in the future. So let's get started. See, the number one point which I would like to discuss with you is that make an effective study plan or a good timetable. For this, you know, we should divide our study material into small manageable portions and also allocate specific time uh, for studying each of them. So we should be defining, you know, we should define that very, very precisely like what we are going to study so that we target that particular topic. Second is that use active learning method. Now this is a very important, you know, we should try to actively engage with the material such as summarizing it or teaching it to someone else or writing down the key points on the sides or highlighting the content. Okay. And uh, all these things are very, very important, you know, making effective notes. Third one is that practice with the past papers. Okay. We should try to find out past examinations and work through them so that like what kind of questions are coming in that particular examination and also we should try to practice them under the examination conditions by giving mock tests and all. So fourth one is that we should get organized, you know, make sure that we have, you have all necessary materials and resources such as textbook, notes and study guides. Number five is that take breaks. So regular breaks will help you to avoid burnout and you know, it is going to increase your productivity. You can listen to some light music between the breaks. And number six is that you should ask for help. So if you are studying, you are struggling in any particular topic, then don't be afraid to ask your teacher, classmate, or a tutor for help. Number seven is that we should try to get enough sleep. So sleep is actually very essential for memory consolidation and better performance. So getting a good sleep in the night is also very necessary. Number eight is that we should get stay focused. So try to eliminate the distractions such as your phone or social media when you are studying. Okay, number nine is a review and revise. So regular review and revise what you have learned, you know, to keep the information fresh in your mind. So for your reviewing, you can give small tests for that particular topic and then again revise it and then again give some test. So these are some of the most important strategies which you can use for preparing for any of the examination. I hope that you have uh, liked this video and I, I hope that this video was uh, useful for you. Okay, so till next time, have fun. All the best. Thank you.